Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm and Hero Hoists. You know, you could wake up on a Sunday morning and go for a walk, perhaps read the newspaper, sit back and listen to the hustle and bustle of the city pending where you live. On the other hand, you could drive into the country to a classic car show. Today, it's around an old pub on this week's Classic Restos. How cool is this? The hub being a pub, built back in 1924. Welcome to the 2019 Lag and Car Show, brought to us by the Crookwall Car Club. This is the fifth annual car club, located 60 k's slightly northwest of Golden, New South Wales, in the sleepy township of Lagan. It's a quiet little town most of the time, but today thousands of cubic inches are going to change the displacement of the town somewhat. Stew the Publican puts this day on once a year. It's a gold coin donation, raising money for local charities. And when you think about it, put classic vehicles in the mix, toss in a country town, then let it simmer around an old pub. That's your dish served on a Sunday to meet the needs of most gearhead enthusiasts. My family's uh, been in the pub since uh, 1947. Uh, so 71 years, um, uh, I took it over about eight years ago um, and got together with a few friends um, to come up with some new ideas and, and one of the ideas was a um, car show which, uh, which has turned out quite, quite well. My parents had the pub up to six years ago and um, they were looking to get out. I moved back here and then yeah sort of took over and, and quite enjoyed it actually and, and trying to bring the, bring the pub back to its its glory. It was built in 1924 um, and uh, so it was mainly grazing uh, sheep, cattle farming area uh, and then my grandfather took it over in 1947 as I said and uh, yeah just after the war and um, built it up because it was quite run down and then uh, he had that until 1970, my mum and dad took it over um, and they had it for a number of years. So this is still the original bar, um, which I'm not allowed to touch of course. It's pretty much exactly the same as what it was, except for the, the dining room. Yeah. So the dining room I converted last year, just modernised it, put a new kitchen in, put a nice chef on, great food. So that's just brought a whole new different different aspect of the hotel. If you want to make a, a weekend of it, a uh, day, trip, drive, come to Lagan Pub, um, enjoy the food, beer, great gardens. Just enjoy it. I'm, I'm most welcome to come anytime. Thank you. Well, here we are once again in the township of Lagan. How you doing, Aaron? Good, Flats. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Good. Thought we'd start with a, a high-end car. Now, it doesn't get much higher than this. It is an elite car from Summonats. We're talking 1985, a WB. You've gone all out with this one, Aaron. I have, yep. It's, uh, yep, it used to be my daily car when I was a teenager, um, a stock ute, and then I was off, took off the road. And, yeah, over the time, saved up and build it into what it is. Hey, did you ever have any idea at the time when you did drive it every day that once one day it would be a showpiece? Uh, had a feeling but yeah didn't think it would happen. Yeah. yeah. Now what was it like back in the day? Was she, was she a good old girl as a daily? 100% yep. Uh, come from up around Orange uh, that way so it had no rust in it. I was very fortunate there when I started working on it and uh, yeah no it was a good reliable old, old ute. With a b blue engine 202? Uh, no, it was, it's actually a factory 253 four speed. Yeah. Uh, it was a Kingswood, so it had the power steer and, and uh, air conditioning factory fitted. And it also had the GDS dash that's in it now currently, was factory fitted as a yellow needle GDS dash in its day. 
At least they put a four-barrel carb on the later Model 253s. <laughs> That's right, they did. Yep, um, didn't have much grunt, but yeah, it still was all right. Nice. No, the uh, Rochester did a good job back in the day. Now, this car, as we've alluded to, Aaron, you've even got posters made up. Now, we've got uh, Ashy in the Southern Highlands of New South Wales did a fantastic job at painting the car. Um, how far did you want to go originally? D did you expect to go all out the way you did? Give us a give us a walk through. I did want to go all out, but obviously money is um, not plentiful. Uh, so yeah, I've done as much work on it as I could myself. Um, done a lot of the fabricating and getting that stuff ready. And then yeah, just spoke to Andrew and it went from there. Um, had a good good relationship with Andrew, and yeah, just involved into what it what it did. Um, he went with the satin finish under the bonnet and uh, that he wanted. He pushed me into that a bit. Uh, just for something different, which I'm pleased he did do. Um, it definitely, you know, the effects and the, the breakup of it is, is magic. Yep. The whole ute from every angle looks superb. The interior, wow. Low back seats, uh, a little bit of billet trim just across the top of the, the glove box there, just in that, uh, originally that the front, the flat area there of the dashboard, a little bit of an enhancement there. Uh, billet wheel, uh, pedals. Uh, Beautiful job. Not overdone, it's just totally in sync with the car. Yep, that's that's sort of how the whole car was, just, yep, yeah, beautiful and, and not, not over the top but not underdone, that's how I wanted it, yep, just. <laughs> okay, we move up towards the front uh, in the go-go department, the 871 bolted there, what's the specs going on there, Aaron? Yep, so it's a 350 stroke to 400, it's a EFI motor, uh, it only runs seven pounds boost at the present time, um, it's been on, on a dyno, uh, makes 823 horsepower. At seven pounds boost on E85. You, you, you need that for an empty ute, don't you, mate? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You just, you just need it, don't you? <laughs> it's, uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. How you get power down, that just must be another subject for another day. Uh, you just don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Awesome job. I love out back to in the ute, the job in the back of the tray there. Beautiful. Yeah, once again, because it was such a clean vehicle and that, I didn't want to go cutting it up. Um, and like I said, no rust. It was very minimal dints and stuff in it for a, a workhorse yep. of its day. Yep. And uh, so we went, went down that path. Yeah, so. It's OK to have a fast car, but we uh, have to stop our cars fast as well. Which way did you go with brakes? Yep, uh, so it's got three 55mm rotors on the front of it. Uh, they're only four-pot ones. Um, yeah, and uh, 300s on the back. And Yep, Good so yeah. The Willowwood ones, and they go well. Awesome stuff, Aaron. Well, there you go. It's a showstopper here at Lagan, across the road, opposite the pub. Uh, he's got his own uh, concrete area here outside the Lagan Rural Fire Brigade. You've, you've done well, Aaron. Nice to catch up, mate. No worries, Fletch. Pleasure, mate. I spend a lot of time out here. The RT Charger's the real deal. An E49. Remember A Charger? I've always got projects on the go. So Shannon's laid-up cover helps protect my restorations. I'm Mopar through and through. It's a passion Shannon's understands. I wouldn't insure my cars and bikes with anyone else. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. How would you like to double your garage space and work on your cars easily? Well, bring in your own hero with a Lift King hoist. Easy to install models in one, two and four post styles. Check the very nifty Spider 2500 portable mini scissor lift. Hero hoists are either Oz certified or carry the Euro CE, your guarantee of quality construction and reliability. I regularly stand under my Lift King, so when you need a bit of a lift, why don't you go stand under yours? Time now for a 66 XP Falcon Wagon. How you doing, Brendan? Yeah, well, thanks, Fletch. That's good, mate. Now, I believe you haven't done a lot of work on this car. You've bought it as is? Uh, bought, bought as is, yeah. It's been um, acquired in Victoria. Uh, a mate of mine owned it about 10 years ago um, and moved overseas, so it's sort of a pass along from there. Yeah. Fair enough. So what made you see it and think, righto, I want that one? Uh, I had cars when I was younger, before I had kids, yeah. um, and then, yeah, had kids and then when he first bought it past it was just like yeah that's that's a cool looking cruiser yeah. so it's just something mild yeah. good cruising isn't that good like you know the kids come along things go on hold for a while and uh and then you come out the other side you get 
your toy back again, and it, it, I, can't, I, I guess it, it, it just means that much more. And it's good to see you, uh, your three kids here with three you kids, today, yeah. Brendan. Yep, yeah. yeah, got two boys and a girl. Yeah. Um, they love it. It's get the car, get the keys for the car, and they just want to jump in it and go for a cruise. And how cool is it? We've got a station wagon here, a bit of a custom job here. It's got a V8 shoehorned in there under the bonnet, the six out, eight goes in. 289? 289. Um, just reasonably standard, just with the Holly uh, extractors. Yeah. Uh, C4 Auto, it's got a short nine inch. Now this particular car too, uh, being the wagon, well you've had the uh, had the upholstery done, that, that's that been done as well? Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's just a, a freshen up with the, the white. When you look at a car like this, it, it definitely depicts somebody, It's it gets back to this individual styling, it's what someone's, uh, I guess, an extension of their own persona as to what they want to go into a car. Yeah. They don't want to go down the road of following everybody else, they, they, they like a certain blue so they paint the wagon that colour. They like a white interior, they do that. And mate, what's a wagon from the 60s without Venetian blinds in the back, mate? Got to have those going on? Definitely, yeah. I took them out the other day to give them a move of a clean, <laughs> and it just changes the whole appearance of the car. So, straight back in. That's great, mate. Thanks for your time. Definitely. Thank you. And, um, Thanks, Fletch. That's good. And this is a, a, it's a little country town here in New South Wales, uh, just slightly northwest of Goulburn. And uh, boy, is it evolving. This is the fifth year here. Uh, they've ran out of room over behind the pub. The cars are lined up in the main street. That's a bit of a drama because there's no more room left. And there's a field over there now at capacity. So it's getting to the stage with these car shows. It doesn't matter where they are on the map, people are travelling to them. It's, it's great. It brings them in from everywhere. And turn up late and get pole position so I'm happy with that. <laughs> Good on you Brennan and once again great to see you out and about uh, with the kids mate and you have a have a great day. Cheers mate. Day. Thanks Fletch. Right. Cheers. And of course if you own a classic make sure that it is insured with Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646 and next time you're online there is so much to see at the Shannon's Club. For more information go to shannons.com.au AU. How cool is this? You don't see these cars every day of the week. A replica car, 1973 LJ Tirana XU1. How are you doing, Jan? I'm good, thank you, Fletch. How are you? Great. This is your car, right? It is. I've had it for quite a while now. Okay, now, it's a silly question, I know. It means the world to you, doesn't it? It does mean the world to me. It really does. It's like a third child. So, I guess, well, we obviously remember the days, teenagers, uh, primary school when these cars used to roam the streets yes. you would never have thought back then that one day you'd have one obviously I actually had one as my first car when I was 17 years old I got my license in it and it was a sunburst gold one Wow! yes it was very special and as family life and all the rest of it yeah. becomes busy yes. and it it went yes yes totally appreciate that um, it's the thing too, I guess, where you think back of your, to that first car that you had and I bet you'd love that one back. I really would. I really would. And I said to the husband that um, one day I would have another one and, uh, yeah, 18 years ago, found one. <laughs> You're a lucky lady. Now, the restoration, uh, how long ago and what can you tell us about that? Uh, about 15 years ago, the husband rebuilt the, the engine, um, actually bought me a set of SUs for Christmas. Um, That's a what a Christmas present. <laughs> he's was. he's a legend. That bloke. <laughs> he is. Yeah. Um, then we had the interior and everything redone by a young guy in Goulburn, and other than that, it's what as it was when we bought it. Okay, so uh, just a, a standard two-door LJ Tirana. Yes. No, nothing, nothing real flash. No, no, yep. just as it is. Um, and the husband built the engine up, yep. and yeah, just pieced it together. He's yep. done a good job. He has done a good job, but he's built a few engines over his times. Yeah. yeah. Good on him. When you open the doors, the first thing that uh, smacks you out is that the GTR logo yep. up there on the door card. Yep. What yep. a nice embellishment. I think that's a real nice touch there. It is. Yes, it is. But that's I think that's how they come out with them. Yep. So, yeah. Yep. Try to keep it simple. Yep. Well, how cool is that? We've got the triples going on, as you alluded to earlier, as a Christmas present. Yes. Um, so, yeah, it must feel nice to drive. Oh, I do love it. It's, it's different than the new ones. You know that you're driving it. Yeah. And you just feel free. Yeah. These these were little rocket ships. They really were. Uh, again, not a heavy car by any means. Uh, a mate of mine many years ago had one. I think on the Red Joe paper, it wasn't even a thousand kilos yeah. in weight. Yeah. But they are very powerful little things. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And you know that you're stuck to the road when you're driving them too. 
Absolutely. It, it's, a, it's a skill, but it's an appreciation that you get when you drive the old cars. And the people that don't know much about them probably think, oh, goodness me, they'd be terrible to drive. But they're not, they're not are they? No, they're great no, to drive. They are. They're like friendly little things to drive. And you know you are driving because they're quite heavy in the steering. Yeah. And you don't have air conditioning without windows down. I, I like those cute little lines you just said, like friendly little things to drive. You know, it's just so sweet, isn't it? It is. It is. <laughs> okay, Jan. Well, thank you so much for uh, for bringing this Tirana along. Being part of the Lag and Show, wow, what an event. I uh, alluded to earlier. Hard to believe it's the fifth year. It, it feels like it's been going for 15. Yeah, it does actually. There's a lot of cars this year. I usually park over the other side, but yeah, I think the word's got out. That's good. Yeah. Well, and again, uh, thank you for the uh, the girl power part of today's episode as well. It's always nice to see through the eyes of a lady driving a classic car. I, I, I think a lot of that. So uh, well done to you, Jan. Thank you very much. Thanks, Fletch. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. If you have a restoration project, Hair and Forbes has the tools that you need. Shrinker stretchers, dollies, mallets, bead rollers, profile gauges, professional panel restoration kits and so much more. Now I warn you, enter at your own risk because you will end up buying something. So come along to your Cap City store or browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au because Hair and Forbes has the range. If you're into your Dak Daks, it's time for a Combi Custom now. How are you doing, Jed? Very well, Fletch. How are you? Great, great. This is amazing. This is the first Custom that I've seen of this kind, what you've done here to this Combi. Oh, that's good. Yeah, run us through. What, how did you do this? Uh, well, it started as a, as a van, full 11-window van. Uh, back in the 80s, it got destroyed by a tree, so the story goes, the back yeah. end of it. you got to watch out for trees. <laughs> yes. Uh, so we just bought the back forward and made a little crew cab out of it, just to be different. Not only has the job been done, it's been nicely done. It's a real credit to you. Oh, thanks, Fletch. Yeah, had a lot of guys helping me that know what they're doing. That's the what you need. Yeah. Um, that little uh, shelf area out back, not a bad little size, that. Just, it's just right. Yeah, it's good, good. The next thing I want to do is probably put a hard lid on it, just to sort of keep the weather out. Yeah. But um, it does the job. Tell me, when it comes to Volkswagens, Jed, you, you've, have you done a few uh, in, yeah, over the yeah, years? I've had, I've had Volkswagens for a long time. I've got an Oval Beetle I'm still doing at the moment yeah. and a um, 356 Porsche, which I've had since 1982. Mm -hmm. So I um, always liked the German cars. Something a little bit different, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I like what you've done too. You've got the, the car seat up front to take your, your grandson around with you. Oh, uh, uh, you know, granddad and grandson team getting around in the combi, going to, to a classic car day. Doesn't get much better than that, does no, it? Absolutely not, mate. Good, really good. Um, now, the condition of the, of the vehicle before you got it overall was it uh, was it a basket case or not too bad? Oh no, basket case. Worse than the basket case, you know. Originally, I took it. You know, had a few guys come and look at and just walk away. Just so no, you can't do that. So, well, luckily, I found a guy that really knew what he was about. So we um, welded all the pieces in, made the pieces, welded them in. Away we went. Got to love the safari windows up front as well too. They're just so synonymous with this yeah. type of vehicle. Yeah, 1960 air conditioning, that's it. <laughs> Jed, I love the two-tone paint scheme that you went for. Yes, original colours, not for this van, but it's a pearl white and I can't remember the German name of the grey or the green. Like we'll be here all day if you're trying to work that out. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. exactly right. No. And not only do I like the two-tone on the body, uh, the white steely wheels. That, that kind of yeah. just show, helps to showcase it as well. Yeah, yeah. well, they're, they're wheels off a bay window combi because it's got a bay window front end in with disc brakes. So I had another set of wheels, but I couldn't get them to fit. So I've just gone to steel wheels and I like them. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave them like that now. Engine out back, what did you do there? Uh, it's a 1776 twin Webers on the back with a vintage speed exhaust so uh, like it doesn't go too fast but yeah. enough for me. It's made a little bit of a difference? Yeah oh yeah yeah much much better yeah 
it's the beauty of a show like this, you know, it's, it's the variance. Um, the show, look, all, all car shows are great, but to, to turn up to Lagan and to see a custom Holden to a, a combi like this that's had some very clever work done to it, um, well done, mate, once again. Yeah, thanks, Fletch. Thanks yeah. very much. Right. Time for an original car on today's show, a 1964 Fairlane. Have a go at this. How are you, Don? Good, thanks, Fletch. That's the way, mate. You're the carer of this vehicle. You could say that, yes. Yes. You know, I love it. I do. There's just something about this. It's a, a genuine car, never been touched, unrestored, 1964. Here we are presented with its uh, original interior, its original steel wheels. Um, it's obviously had a little bit of paint once upon a time, possibly. Possibly, but most of it's original paint yeah. and original trim. Yeah. It's a rare one. Australia, we only got the 500. Yep. We're mainly a 289 three-speed. This yep. is just a fair lane, yep. and it's a 260 two-speed. Yeah which is a bit prehistoric, but it's a beautiful old car. It's just something about the car in its entirety. Now, if this car has had paint, it either has or it hasn't, but it also could have been just garaged for most of its life and you'd still get away with the acrylic paint that it left the factory with back in 64. Now, just quickly mention the V8 engines. Now, the 260 and a two-speed. Um, isn't it interesting how the Fairlane... Uh, always represented the higher mark of a vehicle, but they did in the early stages, they were just like a larger Falcon really, weren't they? That's right, yes. There was basically the same trim level, uh, bench seat, six-seater, no such things as bucket seats. If you wanted a hooter, you had to pay extra or a radio or anything like that. Yeah. This one does have power steering. So you, back in the day, what a step up it was. If you had a, a 170 cubic inch Falcon and your next door neighbour rocked up with this, a 260 V8 and a Fairlane, oh, yes. a, a larger car. Wow, it was it was up the ladder somewhat. There's something about a white car with a red interior. I think the the white enhances the red. Yes, he's been a uh, my nephew who owns it was chasing a white '64 Fairlane with red trim everywhere, and he stumbled onto this one in Sydney, so he had to have it. I love it. We look across the dashboard again with all these classic cars right across uh, a lot of brands. Um, the painted dash, same colour as the interior, or same colour as the outside of the paint, um, or the steel wheels painted the same colour as well. There was just something about the pastel colours that were around back in those times, uh, just gorgeous. Yes, yeah, so I'm what they call a beige, just so I like the, the pastel colours. You like the vanilla, you like the yeah. vanilla colours, don't yeah. you, Don? Yeah. <laughs> Can't hey, go wrong. Now, history wise with this car, what can you tell us? Where, where, where did it kick off? Uh, come out of LA, oh, out of California, I think. Uh, Bradley bought it in Sydney, it was for sale through one of the local car sales markets and uh, he went with the cash in hand and came home, he wasn't coming home without it, put it that way. Oh, how cool. Left hook as well, yeah, left it's, hook. it's never been touched for a, a conversion either, which which to me is uh, 10 out of 10. Yeah. And it drives beautiful, it's, I've driven it to the Ford Day and yeah. it, in Sydney and it just drives you beautiful. The simplisticness of the car as well, obviously less to go wrong too. Uh, keeping them basic like this, wow, you know, you, you had a basic electrical system, um, the engines were basic, um, but you, you could see what you were working on. That was, Isn't that a beautiful thing about our old cars? You lift the bonnet and you can, there's the alternator, there's the fuel pump, there's the carb, there's the plugs. Like, they were just a dream to work on, weren't they? Yeah, I, I believe in the old, I think it's KISS. Keep them simple, stupid. <laughs> and yeah. they're, they're easy to work on, and as you say, and nothing goes wrong with them. Yeah. They're a, an awesome thing. Also, too, uh, the uh, alluding to the tyres on the car, too. Uh, nice radial tyres have been installed yeah. on this one, um, complemented by the bright work on the car, uh, the, the, the alloy work, the stainless trim that is on the car. <laughs> it was all back in the time of, uh, well, you know, rocket inspiration. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And of course around the back with the round tail lights, that was, that was Ford. You saw a round tail light, that was Ford. Don, I want to thank you for sharing this Fairlane with us, sitting here in all its exuberance. Beautiful 1964 Fairlane and also your efforts as well to help Stu and the pub and get this day together, mate. You've excelled yourself, Don. Well done. Thanks, Fletch. It was a pleasure.
Well, that's a wrap. Just some of the 2019 Lag and Car Show. And never underestimate the power of a small town when it comes to putting a car show together. And I hope to see you here in 2020. In the meantime, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, until next week, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts, Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, and Hero Hoists.